Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, my name is Katie and I am a stay-at-home mother of three, and I love to give you guys daily motivation, whether it be cleaning, cooking, grocery shopping, finding healthy alternatives, I love all of it. So anyways, if you are new here, please, please, please click the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you don't miss any future videos. The kids and I recently took a little trip to the farmer's market and it may be the last one we get to go to before summer is over. Uh, so I wanted to show you what we picked up. Uh, I love the farmer's market. I love supporting local farmers. I think that that is so important. So I do my part by shopping at farmer's markets when I can. Uh, we have several that are within about a 25 minute radius of us so I hit them all. <laughs> Uh, when they are open as long as the kids allow of course so let's get into this I want to show you what I got I'll explain things as I'm showing them to you and then I'll see you back when we're done so let's start out over here on the right these are fresh and local um, pastas so we've got a lime and cilantro linguine and then a lemon pepper linguine. So I'm really, really excited to have these. We're gonna have this one tonight with some chicken. Uh, today they had a little um, fermentation class, and so we made some sauerkraut. I'm excited to see how this turns out over the next five to seven days. Um, over here we've got some heirloom tomatoes, and then I forget what they call these, but Super great for roasting or just tossing in a recipe. These are to go with the pasta tonight. I got um, this big box of berries. This was $18. That's a pretty good amount of berries. They're all organic and fresh. Um, I'm gonna probably use half of these for juicing. The other half, my kids will just eat handfuls at a time. Uh, kale. Lots and lots of kale here. Lots of carrots. Both my boys love to just walk around and munch on carrots all day. So some of these will be for them and some of these will be for juicing. I got some eggplant today. I've never tried it before. I'm kind of unsure what to do with it. So if you guys have any experience with it, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear what recipes you've tried, what methods you like, um, you know, and if it's good. I'm a little nervous to try it actually. So we got a few of those to try. These little bell peppers, green, this one is especially small. Um, but it's fresh, organic, all of this is organic and fresh. Uh, I just love it. Uh, I got a leek here, I've got a recipe I'm gonna be using that in. Some uh, onions here, these are sweet onions. I forget what they call these. Uh, again, organic. And then this zucchini. This zucchini is ginormous. It's so big. I love making zucchini bread. I also like to shred up zucchini and put it in like oatmeal muffins because the kids can't even tell it's in there and they're getting a vegetable. Some yellow squash here. Uh, some peaches, some plums. And then um, this is a local company that makes fresh hummus. So this is just basically, well, most basic garbanzo, eggplant, roasted garlic, olive oil, and spices. I tried a sample of this there and he, he put it with this. It's got olive oil, parsley, tomato, green onion, and wheat grain, and spices. So just very basic ingredients, but this paired with this was so amazing on their fresh pita bread. Okay, and then this one is their artich artichoke hummus. So garbanzos, artichoke, garlic, olive oil, lemon, and spices. Again, just super basic ingredients, but so tasty. Love this stuff. And then this is their fire roasted red. Uh, it's not spicy at all, just wonderful flavor. Um, like in their homemade pita bread that they make. And then also some of their pita chips, which are amazing. And then this is a raspberry cider, also made locally out of Estacada, Oregon, just outside of Estacada. So good. It's a little on the spendy side, but definitely worth it because 
it's real basic ingredients, so you're not getting, um, you know, any gluten or anything like that. It's just really, really delicious. And then this is also a locally made adult beverage, um, the Bloodhound. Uh, this is made and bottled in Oregon City, and it's oh so good. Vodka, fresh grapefruit, blood orange, and lime, and it is so delicious. Um, I think it was like $6 for this little can though, so it's definitely kind of like just a once in a while kind of thing, but they were good, so I grabbed a couple of those. I've got about seven pounds of apples here, just different kinds, different varieties. I'm gonna do a lot of juicing with those. Basil, the kids and I are gonna make some fresh pesto with this. Also, I might throw this in with my recipe tonight. I'm not too sure. So yeah, this is uh, our little haul here. Uh, the kids got these with their free tokens. So um, the farmer's markets we go to give each kid $2 in tokens. Uh, so they put it towards these, and of course, uh, mom picked up the rest of the tab on those because these are their favorite fruits. Yeah, so this is uh, our little farmer's market haul today. It was so fun, and a little lesson on making uh, the sauerkraut I'm, was so fun. The kids got to help with that. It was a, a lot of fun. Ah, so many wonderful ingredients. Like I said, I love the farmer's market. I love supporting local farmers, um, just local businesses in general. Um, so like the pasta and the hummus and the, the beer and the cider, you know, I just love those things. I love that they're made right here in my local area and um, I don't mind paying a little bit more for those things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and as well as a little bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And like I said, if you have any ideas on the eggplant, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear them. I am um, not sure how I'm going to cook them up or use them yet. I'm really hoping I can find a way that my family will enjoy them. All right guys, well we'll see you in the next video.